When assessing a pediatric burn patient, one of the most important things is not to be distracted by what initially seems like uh, the most obvious injury. You need to get back to the fundamentals. And the first one is ensure that you're safe. The second part is to ensure that the patient and the family is safe. Then progress forward, check the level of consciousness, check the airway, check the circulation, look at the patient from a, and we've been following the triangle for a long time, but look at the patient themselves. Once you identify whether or not that patient has immediate life-threatening concerns, once you've identified whether or not those exist and you manage them or whether or not they don't exist and you move on, then at that point you can start concerning yourself with getting the patient dry, you can worry about taking care of the patient's pain, and you can start addressing some of those family issues. But most importantly, don't be distracted by the initial, by the, by the obvious burn itself, and don't be distracted by the screaming or the family or any of the dynamics. Focus on keeping yourself and the patient and the family safe first.